Now last time we were here we had wrapped up the project, supposedly, and then we went up to the Amazon App Store, created, started to create a developer account, and then we were stopped at the point where we needed to create app assets. We still need to do that. But I realized something. At the moment that I had tried to upload my APK, it didn't let me because I forgot to change my ID and someone else had the ID dot Smith. No big deal. But then at the end of the day when I recompiled my app and changed my app's ID and then it allowed me to upload the APK, uh, I realized I forgot to mention something when Amazon looks at my APK. Um, I'm going to load up my app in, uh, in the command prompt. This is what I forgot. Taco plugins. Our app is currently requesting all of these permissions. Our app is requesting to see status about the camera, I mean the battery, to use the camera to check people's contacts, to see the de device data and device motion, blah 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 blah, file transfer, geolocation, and app browser, all of that stuff, capture multimedia. So basically our our app is asking for every single permission about the person's device. If we had gone ahead and then uh, published our app as is this way, someone wanted to download it, let's say it was a legitimate app, someone wanted to download it and they'd say, why does this calculator app want to access my camera? Why does this calculator app want to record audio? Why does this app want to do this, 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 and this? So we were asking for like 20 things to do. And our app really only needs a couple of them. So we need to, we should take a moment to remove the plugins that we don't need. We're asking for too many permissions. We're going to scare people. They're not going to download and install our app if our app seems like it's some sort of privacy overreaching app. So open up your control, uh, your command prompt. Go to your apps folder, taco. And you saw that I um, typed uh, taco plugin or plugins, taco plugins. That listed all the ones I have installed. I need to remove several of them. We're not really checking for can uh, for battery usage. We could, but we're not, so that's one to remove. We're not using the camera at this point, so we'll remove it. Console, that one's either or, doesn't matter. We can remove it because we're done with the app, not really. Uh, but that's, anyway, the user will never really see that, so I'm going to leave console. We are going to further work with our app later on for version 2. Contacts, we're not asking to check the person's contacts. Device. Um, hmm. Device. Let's leave that one because uh, we can use it to test, to check for various features of the device and therefore uh, allow or disallow some aspects of our app. Uh, PouchDB, for example, doesn't work uh, on Android 2.2 devices. Now the latest one is 6.2. X, so that's a pretty old device. But if we wanted to write a little code to not let the older versions of Android use our pouch, that might be good, and we would need device. Device motion. What does that one do? I think that one's all about orientation and such. Let's leave that one because we are locking our orientation portrait. Gotta double check that one. Uh, oh, no, there's device orientation. We're going to leave device orientation okay. As for device motion, I've got to double check exactly what that one asks for. That one's probably one we're going to remove. Notification. We're not doing notifications. We're not... Uh, wait, notifications. That one's dialog boxes. That one's dialog boxes and, like, and the like. We have vibration down here, which we're not using, but we could. So anyone that we're not using, we're going to remove. Um, let's, let's leave notification. We're not, we're not actually using it, but we should have. So that one will be OK. Uh, file. Nope, we're not accessing anything in the file system, really, of the device, like memory card and such. File transfer, same thing. We don't need that one. 
uh, geolocation. Yes, our app is using the GPS to create a map and all of that, so geolocation, fine. In App Browser, yes, we're launching uh, the college's website in its own little instance of a web browser. Media, no, that one is loading, like playing, loading a sound from the system or a, from the memory card, we're not doing that, and also capture, we're not capturing multimedia, we're not recording video, we're not recording audio. That's, those are some of the ones that are really going to scare the user. Why does this college app want to record audio? Is it going to spy on me? Network info, we're not using it, but the idea of that one is if we wanted to have some fail-safes about is the person online or not. If they're not online, perhaps deactivate the map feature. Um, We'll, uh, we'll leave that one because we do request the map. Splash screen. Yes, we have a splash screen. Status bar. No, we're not using the status bar. That one would be uh, to use the strip at the top of the, of the Android device to display data and such. We'll remove status. Vibration. We're not having anything vibrate. Uh, so we'll say no. And whitelist, yes. This is a basic one, and usually we, we use this one in various ways, either consciously or not, so we'll leave it. So I made a list here, but we'll refer back to it. We want to remove, first of all, battery. So it's taco, plug-in, remove, and then the name of the package, which will be cordova-plugin-dash battery dash stat dash status. You see where I'm getting it from? Right there. This long name and then the package name and then the version number and then the friendly name. So we're going to remove all the ones based on the package name here that I just mentioned. So that's one. I'll press enter. Yes, we could string all of these together in one. We'll do a couple of those that way. But first, I'll do a couple one on one just to show you. Taco plugin remove and then the name of the plugin. It'll take a moment, it'll remove it from Android and remove it from browser. The first time um, we had copied and pasted from a text file that I gave you in the network folder that was taco plugin add and then a list of all of the ones we wanted which was all 19 of them here then we need to remove the ones we don't need um, on your own particular app obviously it's going to be better to simply add the ones that you do need okay that's one taco plugin remove Cordova dash plugin I'll start from the bottom vibration space Cordova dash plugin dash status bar space Cordova now the the, the problem with naming them all like this is you need to spell them correctly in your list of all of these that you're writing or else you'll get errors. Cordova dash plugin media dash capture. There's a couple of these that are dependent upon each other. I think media is one, so Cordova plugin media and media capture. I'm gonna let it go at this point it's because I don't trust myself that I spelled it right. So let them go. And then I'll do the next ones. Yes. This is what I was saying earlier, that the app will work just fine, but then when the user goes to download the app, it'll tell them, this app requests to use your camera, your battery, your contacts, your microphone, your video. And that's going to be asking too much of a person, and they're going to be scared. Why does this app need to use my microphone? So we should remove it to not scare the user.
Yes. Exactly. Exactly. When I'm in my app store, and then uh, before I install it, it'll have that list of what it needs, permissions. And then if I click install, it'll pop up and say, this app requires this, 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 and this. So it's like twice that it'll tell you it needs it. So the person will see it at some point and say, why does it need my microphone? Okay, so Taco plugin. Okay. No, nope, it just it lists them here alphabetically, and it doesn't matter the order we remove them or add them. So I'm just kind of jumping back and forth as my screen cuts off, some at the top, some at the bottom. But I need to get the ones I don't want. Taco plugin remove Cordova dash plugin dash camera space Cordova dash plugin dash contacts. A little bit of of a trick. Um, a little bit of a trick is what if you copy and paste the part that you're going to type in over and over, which is Cordova dash plugin. Uh, contacts, delete device, uh, remove device motion, dash motion. Dash plugin, uh, leave orientation. Oh, yeah, there it is. Dialogs, notification. Let's leave that one. File, we don't need file. We don't need file transfer. File dash transfer. I'll let those go. So there's a part you might see that it says uninstalling and removing. Well, uninstalling is that then it's sort of decoupling the code from our app but then removing is it's actually deleting the supporting files these plugins when we did taco install plugins created a, a subfolder in our project with a bunch of supporting files java javascript files all over xml files all over our project so that's why then it takes longer to actually remove than simply uninstall Console. Oops, I must have misspelled contacts. It didn't do it. Taco plugin remove. Cordova dash plugin dash contacts. And must have misspelled file also. Location globalization. Uh, I don't think I mentioned that one, but we, we don't, we don't, we're not using that one. Globalization in app browser. Yes, network info. Let's leave that one. Splash leave and whitelist leave. Yes. We're leaving geolocation because it's part of our map functionality. But not globalization, yes. That one's related to like translations of our app. If we wanted to have our app in different languages, we have a plugin that helps us with that to translate it to different languages. That helps us with it. It doesn't do it, however. It doesn't do it for us. So I'm left with console, device, device orientation, notification, geolocation, in-app browser, network info, splash screen, and whitelist. I think that'll be good. That'll let us uh, have our app work. And we've got a couple more items in there that we can add for our version 2.
2.0. These are the ones I ended up with. Splash screen, remember when we load up our app, we see we see a that's right, the very first um, this very first animation. Not animation, but this this is the splash screen. Whitelist is um, a basic one that we should keep because this one lets us specify uh, w web resources that are okay for us to access or not for security purposes. We're going to say we can open this website and we can not open that one and we can open this protocol and not that protocol. So it'll make our app more secure that we don't access an online resource that is harmful. Alright, so did everyone remove the plugins? Anyone need any help on that? On those, the one that you skipped? Yes. These, li these last ones are the ones I'm keeping. If you removed one in accident, to put it back, you would type taco, plugin, add, and then the name of the one, like let's say I want battery again. You see the difference. Taco, plugin, add, to put it back in. Taco, plugin, remove, to take it out. Okay, so since we changed our app, we're going to need to compile it again. We're going to need to do that process of building it as a release-ready APK again. Um, so I'm going to pull up my handout, because I don't have it memorized, but I'm going to pull up my handout and we're going to do the whole taco dash dash release version of the build. You should have a copy of that JKS file that we created last time. If you don't, you'll have to create another one, so go back to sheet number 8, that tells you how to create the JKS file again, and then I'm going to build my project again, I'm going to confirm my JKS file is on my flash drive, uh, I'm going to pull up my handout, pull up my handout, The JKS file? Exactly. We use the JKS file um, for this final signing. Excuse me. Yes. Is the plugin that you use copying that from another part of this plugin? You mean uh, removing mm -hmm. the plugins? Yes. Yes, if you write it out yourself somewhere, on Notepad, for example, or Word or whatever, and if you write it there and then select and copy, and then you can right-click, paste into here, because it is a lot of typing and no mistakes. But if you do it elsewhere, you can paste it in if you right-click. Doing Control-V does not paste. It creates a special character, so if you want to right-click. Yes? Yes. Can we just not type in the uh, just to the I don't think so because um, th that's why it shows uninstalling and removing. Uninstalling must remove some code in a central repository that says use this plugin. And if we simply delete the folder, well then we still have references to that non-existing code somewhere in the project. That means it has more it's not yeah. Code. Exactly. It's going to remove some code and the actual files via this method. So I need to uh, publish my app one more time.
So that is going to be taco build android space dash dash release space dash dash space key store. We did this last time, but it's good practice. Mine is on my F drive backslash my JKS file your JKS file dash dash alias the name of your alias in your key store and I call mine probably this it'll then compile it it'll ask for the password twice and then I'll get the compiled version of my my project again Again, if you don't have your JKS file again, oh, and it looks like I misspelled something you're not recognized, ignoring. I'm going to cancel that actually. Uh, build option, key store, not recognized. Okay, I must have misspelled something. Oh, two dashes on that. Dash, dash, key store. Um, you know, I, I don't think I did actually, but I think it, it's it's necessary. All the documentation that I've read, it says it needs those two. There must be some very specific reason why, but that's just the way it is. Just like that's the command. It's a good thing we do this again one more time for practice because we'll have to do it also when we do a version two of our app on, on the next Tuesday. But it looks like mine compiled. I get my release, my release ready APK, which according to my handout is inside of my app folder. Platforms, Android, Build, Outputs, APK. Here it is, Release. So I've got the version of my app from Tuesday, which is no longer the most current, so I'm going to delete that one. Now replacing it with my current one. So. Let's pause there. Let's make sure that everyone then uh, created this this release, uh, this new version of the app. Anyone need a little help? Well, let's take a look which ones are left. Last year, I 
it just generated the images. Yeah, it's just this. Exactly. So you see, if we were doing this the real way, we would be creating our app, taco create, and such, and then we would be adding the plugins that we wanted instead of taking away. But I wanted to show you here, on early on in the project last month, we did taco plugin add. We added the plugins. Then we're removing the ones we don't need. So there's a simple taco plugin add, taco plugin remove. And uh, in our case, we need to remove all of these ones that we're not using so that we don't scare the, the user. Hopefully you have all of that done. I'm going to move on in, a, in a less than one minute. What we need to do next then is we're going to log back into our Amazon account. So final questions and then we'll do that.
Okay, so I've got my project. I'm going to open the web browser now and I'm going to go over to Amazon.